Please, Commissioner. We've been through all this before. It's absolutely impossible. I cannot give you permission to lead a safari into the jungle. What, Commissioner? For the last time, Dr. Roberts, the answer is no. Good day, Doctor. Look, Commissioner, I've already hired men, purchased supplies. You're wasting my time and your own. I'll be leaving here in a few moments on an important trip. When I return, possibly I can help you. You're going to see the old one, aren't you? To find out where the place is. I'm afraid that's no concern of yours. But it is. Don't you see? This is an important scientific discovery. I've got to have time to study them before they're disturbed. But this is also an emergency. I've already told you that I cannot give you permission. Then I'll go by myself, without a government permit. You can't stop me from doing that, can you? No, I can't. And if you want to jump into the lake, I can't stop you from doing that either. But in any case, the government will assume no responsibility for you. You'll get no guides, no protection. Tell them to bring the jeep around. I'll be ready to leave in ten minutes. Yes, sir. Good day, Doctor. Send the commissioner's jeep over right away. What did he have for lunch? Fire and brimstone? He's new on the job. Where can I find a guide? A good guide? Oh, there's lots of them. I want the best. Someone who knows every inch of the jungle. Maybe you could get Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim? What's his address? He doesn't have any. He lives in the jungle. It's about three days from here by water. Near Imgaba Lake. Imgaba Lake. Thanks. Oh, uh, tell Commissioner Kingston I decided to jump in the lake. In Garble Lake.
Hey, but I'm going for a swim. When the lady wakes up, I'll be down by the lake. <laughs> Dr. Livingston, I presume. Nor Stanley either. Suppose you tell me what your name is. You don't say. By the way, where's the man who saved my life? this in Gamble Lake? That's right. Well, they told me back at Wasabi I'd find Jungle Jim here. That's me. Don't you know it's dangerous to wander around in the jungle here? I didn't exactly expect paved streets and traffic lights. Nor Black Panthers either. Thanks for saving my life. I never did fancy myself as a seven-course dinner for a hungry panther. Sit down. <laughs> Now, what is it you want to see me about? I need your help to find... I suppose I'd better tell you about myself. My name is Roberts, Dr. Linda Roberts. I'm an anthropologist, a specialist in the science of man's development. Tamba, this is Dr. Roberts. He came here to find out if you and I were first cousins. <laughs> Doesn't seem to like the idea. <laughs> Nothing much he can do about it. Jim, you know what anthropology is. It's... It's the study of man. You want to use me for a guinea pig? Not quite. But I can use your skill as a hunter and a guide. Jim, this jungle's a huge laboratory. There's so much I want to see and study. So? I want you to act as my guide. After you tell me what you started to say before. Now, what is it you want me to help you find? The land of the giant people. The land of the giant people? Hold it. It's all right, it's a message for me. A message? I've heard of poison pen letters, but in this kind of post office, you can get killed. It's from the old one. The old one? The old one, yes. The wise old native chief who's supposed to be hundreds of years old. One of your jungle fairy tales. This is no fairy tale. He wants to see me. Well, he certainly has a quaint way of letting you know. Will you take me along? It's a long journey. Rough and dangerous. I can take care of myself. Huh. You and your cousin. You both give me a pain in the neck. Come on, you two. All right, all right. We're coming. Come on. Tamba, you stay here. <laughs> Thank you. 
I wait. Have patience, Commissioner. Jungle Jim will come, and you will have answer to your question. Well, if he doesn't come soon, I must go. Little streams take seven million years to make small canyon through mountains. You would change face of jungle in a few hours. Must have patience. I, I think I've just, I've just about had enough. I'm leaving. Wait. He comes. <laughs> you are always welcome, Jungle Jim. Well, Miss Roberts, I didn't expect to see you so soon. Nor are you, Commissioner. He's blind. When eyes are dead, heart must see. You too are welcome, Dr. Roberts. How did you know I was a doctor? Every whisper of breeze in jungle brings news. Sometimes find truth in strange places. Jungle Jim, this is Commissioner Kingston. Jim, I, I need your help. I was glad to help the government, Commissioner. Well, as you know, there was an earthquake in the mountain ranges last spring. And as a result, floods have sealed up all the passes. There's no way through. 
Unscrupulous hunters are trapping elephants by the score and killing them for their ivory. They've always done that anyway. As for the floods, wait a few months, they'll go down and the elephants will manage all right. But if they don't get through, how are the native tribes on the other side going to exist? What do you want me to do? You've heard of the giant people? Yes, I've heard of them. Well, we, we captured two of them in the jungle. They're at Wasabi now. Now I can see where they came from. Anthropologically, it would be the scientific discovery of the century. What have elephants got to do with that? Well, they themselves, nothing. The place they live, everything. You see, we have reason to believe that the land of the giant people may in itself be a secret passageway through the mountains, exactly what we're looking for to get the elephants through. And we want you to show us where it is. Why don't you ask the giant people? Ask a lion to let you feel how sharp his teeth are. No, they're wild, uncivilized beasts. We had to put them in cages. But what do you say, Jim? No. Do you mean you, you won't tell us where the land of the giant people is? You don't know where it is? I know where it is, all right. And so does the old one. But why? Why not? Move over, Commissioner. You're in my class now. <laughs> but I don't understand. It's our only way of getting the elephants through. Commissioner, if you had an infected finger, would you cut off your hand? Oh, what kind of nonsense is that? Not nonsense. Only truth. Giant people very dangerous. Only safe in own land. Like I said before, wait a few months, the floods will go down, and the elephants will get through. Now, for the last time, Jim, will you show me where this land of the giant people is? No. How to win friends and influence government officials. You have endearing ways, Rover Boy. What do we do now? Go back to camp. Now go, Manitzi. Oh, go, Manitzi. Go in peace. Let's go, cousin. We're off to the races again. <laughs> Camera, behave yourself. There must be something else I can do for you. Yes. Lead me to the giant people. Not that again. I'm leaving now. What did you see up there? Some natives a long way from home. You'll find everything you need in the hut. <laughs> Campbell, stay here and take care of you.
Your invoice is wrong. There are two ivory tusks missing. Well, that's impossible. We couldn't have made a mistake like that. Sorry. There it is in black and white. Oh, Denise, come in. Sit down, dear. We'll be through in just a few minutes. Doc, you made out this invoice. Did you check the ivory? Every last tusk. That list is correct. Well, Quigley? All right. Truck's still outside. Count them yourself. The ones on the truck and the ones are loading. I still say there are two tusks missing. Not anymore. Jim. How are you, Fred? Hello, Quigley. Glad to see you, Jim. What are you doing here? Spotted some natives carrying off some ivory tusks. Figured they were yours, so I followed them. Oh, well, was it my ivory? Yours, all right. It was Zulu and two of his men. Well, did you get the ivory back? I loaded it on the truck outside. Thanks, Jim. Well, I guess that straightens that out. <laughs> you see, I was right. I'll go get your check. Fine. Oh, uh, Jim, I want you to meet Denise, my ward. Her Hello. father was my very good friend. Hello. And this is Doc Edwards, my new assistant. Uh, Jungle Jim. Hello. For real, Doc? Oh, I went to medical school once. The name stuck. Uh, this Zulu you mentioned who stole our ivory, is he chief of the tribe? Mm-hmm. Worst thieves in the jungle. Oh, well, how interesting. I think I like it here. Mr. Lewis? Here's your check. Thank you. Hmm. Ivory's bringing a pretty good price these days. Highest in years. I could use a hundred times as much as you'd deliver today. Any chance of another load in a month or so? You know, that's impossible. There's a government limit on the number of elephants you can kill. Right now, we're worried about their survival, getting them through the mountains. Price is high. Well, I'm content to take this and stay within the law. You should know better. Elephants are the lifeblood of this country. The natives use them for everything. Transportation, power, even food. So what? I use them to make piano keys. Keep killing elephants and you'll be making violins soon. Jim's right. We don't want the elephant to become as scarce as the American buffalo did, and that's what indiscriminate killing of the animals would do. Well, let me know when the restrictions are eased. My offer still stands. Come on, Jim. Find out if he's really serious about buying more ivory. Quigley, um... Yes? I'd better be moving along. I've got somebody waiting for me back at camp. Well, thanks again, Jim, for bringing my ivory back. Glad to help, Fred. Goodbye, Miss Denise. Good hunting, Jim. Thanks. And there's a wonderful man. Oh, he's so strong, too. I thought you were kind of set on dark. <laughs> Nothing in the rules says a girl can't keep her eyes open for a bargain. <laughs> and I hope Commissioner Kingston made out all right. Better get ready. We'll be leaving for Wasabi soon. Tell Doc I'll meet him at the truck, will you? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm afraid it didn't work out, Fred. Did you see the old one? Yes, I saw him. Well, didn't he know? Well, if he did, he wouldn't tell me. Well, I take it then you don't even know if there is a land of the giant people. Oh, there's no question about that. Jungle Jim admitted he knew there was such a place. Well? But he refused to show me where it was. Why? Oh, I suppose they were afraid of what might happen when they heard of the elephants through. Afraid that the giant people would be driven into the jungle and destroy everything they could lay their hands on. If Jungle Jim feels that way, Commissioner, I'd be inclined to accept his advice. The earthquake drove two of those giant people into the jungle and just look at the trouble they caused before your soldiers caught them. No, Jim may be right. Well, that doesn't solve the problem of the elephants. Look, Commissioner, Jungle Jim isn't the only one who knows where the land of the giant people is. If he won't show us the way, someone else can. Yes, but, but who? The two giant people you captured. But you don't understand, Denise. Those people are like animals. We have no way to communicate with them. They can't possibly tell us what we want to know. But they don't have to tell us where their land is. All we want them to do is lead us to it. Oh, just like that, huh? Open up the cages and let them go. Denise, you've seen these beasts. Letting them out would be just plain murder. Not if you inoculated them first. Inoculated them? Yeah, to the point where they couldn't do any damage, but uh, their instinct would lead them straight to home. That's perfect. It might be worth trying, Mr. Denise. I'm afraid, Commissioner. I think you're taking an awful chance. Well, nonsense, Fred. Edwards, could you handle this inoculation business? Easily. Good. Yes, sir? Get a detachment of men ready. We're moving those two giant people to camp number two. Anything else, sir? Yes, send runners to all the native chiefs. 
They've already rounded up most of the elephants. Tell them to be ready to move them just as soon as they hear from us. That's all. If this works out, Miss Denise, I'll see to it that the government awards you a medal. Well, just so I get to pick it out, Commissioner, I want to make sure the colors won't clash with what I'm wearing. <laughs> we'll see to that. <laughs> Those measurements tell you anything? A great deal. Almost everything there is to know. A Bantu, a man, light-skinned but actually black, about five foot six tall, and I should say about 35 years old when he died. Anything else you'd like to know? Yeah. What was his name? If we can learn so much from Justice Skull, imagine what could be learned in studying an entire people, their homes, their customs, Jim, take me to the land of the giant people. Now, we agreed not to talk about that. We agreed? You mean you agreed? I never said anything. I'm going fishing. Don't change the subject. But we need supplies, food. Tamba, you stay with her. <laughs> Tamba, give me those calipers. <laughs> Almost finished? Yeah, in a minute. Giant people ready? Yes, they're all tied up and waiting for another taste at civilization. Uh, this is one they're not gonna like. It's a pity those giant people can't talk. Why? Truth serum. Little shot of that and they tell us anything we want to know. Well, that's wonderful stuff for the income tax collectors, but not much good on the giant people. Mm, I'd like to try a little truth serum on you one of these days. You think I'm allergic to the truth? Oh, I wouldn't put it that way. Just reluctant to confide in me. To tell me what your plans are. Well, maybe I believe that three people can keep a secret if two of them are dead. You and I make two, and the third member of this cozy little trio is uh, Zulu, chief of the tribe, huh? What do you know about Zulu? More than Jungle Jim told us. I know you sent for him. I saw the messenger leave. I heard what you said to him. So? So it just isn't possible that you have no intention of letting those elephants get through that secret pass wearing all of that expensive ivory, is it? You'll do, Duck. Isn't it a pity that Commissioner Kingston's going to be deprived of the privilege of pinning a little medal on you? Was somebody talking about me? <laughs> we were just debating the color of that medal, Commissioner. <laughs> I think chartreuse and bronze will do nicely. Well, I'll have to see to it. Well, we're ready if you are, Edwards. Those John people are getting restless. All right, I'm coming, Commissioner. They're like something cold and musty dug up out of the earth. They frighten me. Which one first, Doc? The female. She takes it without a fuss. We shouldn't have any trouble with the male. But be careful. You're telling me. They get the slack on those lines. Hold on, don't let go. Spread your men out! 
Keep your eyes open. Cover every path. What's the lava? So slow, the lava. The lava. Jim, I'm all right. You stay here with Tamba. I'm going after him. Brother, I really miss all the fun. Come on, Tamba. Let's follow Jungle Jim. What sort of a deal are you cooking up with this native? Well, you'll find out sooner or later, so I may as well tell you now. When we locate the secret pass and the elephants are sent through, they'll be like ducks in a shooting gallery. Zulu and his tribe will be inside the pass. I'm paying Zulu to cut out all the ivory tusks and to deliver them to me. Quigley's agreed to buy them. You'll never get away with it, Denise. Never in a million years. I never expected this of you, Denise. You're not very much like your father, are you? He loved the jungle, everybody and everything in it. You love only yourself and money. If your father were alive today, he wouldn't be very proud of you at this moment. When Commissioner Kingston comes back, I, I'm afraid I'll have to tell him the whole story. Oh! 
Somebody's coming. But all the soldiers have left. <clears throat> Doc, we don't need those giant people anymore. Why not? Truth serum will work on Jungle Jim. Yeah, and he knows where the land of the giant people is in the secret pass. Hurry up. Help me with him. Simeon's friend. A fine guy you turned out to be. Will lost, but good. Right now, I'd willingly trade you for a St. Bernard with a nice keg of iced tea around his neck. <laughs> well, we can't sit here forever. Come on. the bluff on Rendova Pass, and then what? Small canyon, south side of mountain. Go through. Find land of giant people. Secret pass. Think you can find it? Good. When the elephants are in the pass, they're to be killed and the ivory brought to me, right? Zulu, understand. You better go now. Would he remember what we asked him and what he told us? Uh, every word of it. The commissioner will be here soon. So what? You think you could make it look like Jungle Jim killed Fred? He does carry a knife. You're a pretty cold-blooded proposition, aren't you? Well? Yes, I think I could. It's a pretty neat frame up. Well, the serum will be wearing off pretty soon. We'd better knock him out again. Well, I don't think he'd mind that. Would you, Jungle Jim? There's no sign of either the giant man or the woman, sir. Well, get the men ready. We'll be moving out in a few minutes. Yes, sir. Well, if I love it. I'm sending some men ahead to Wasabi with Lewis's body. I'll be leaving with the troops. What about Jungle Jim? Oh, he comes with us. He'll have to stand trial for murder. Good. Are you sure that you want to keep on after the giant people? Positive. The female's been inoculated, the male's been wounded. They should be easy to track. Well, good luck. I'll leave you a few soldiers. You can use them as runners to the native chiefs once you've located the secret pass. Then send one back for me. Fine, Commissioner. We'll see you there. Now see that he stays gagged. I don't want him yelling to any of his animal friends on the way to Wasabi. Come on, let's move out. Hello.
Quick, I want Jungle Jim and that girl. far with that woman. We'll track him down. Can't walk, can you? Tampa's getting the attack to cat? Nearest thing we have to it in the jungle. Jim, what were you doing back there, tied up, and who are all those men? There were government troops taking me back to Wasabi under arrest. Arrest for what? Murder. And since I helped you escape, I, I guess that makes me an accessory to murder. You worried? You're pretty pig-headed sometimes, but I don't suppose that you just killed somebody. Thanks, I didn't. Then what's this all about? Elephants, ivory, and the land of the giant people. What? Like I said, elephants, ivory, and giant people. <laughs> for the murder. When you cut me loose, they were taking me back to stand trial. You mean this Denise and Doc Edwards mean to slaughter the elephants for their ivory? Just as soon as they get them in the secret pass, Zulu and his men are going to do all the killing. What about the two giant people? Loose in the jungle someplace, probably on the way home. Trouble sticks to you like water to a duck's back. What are you going to do now? Find Doc and Denise, get them to clear me of the murder charge. Haven't you overlooked the slight matter of Commissioner Kingston and his troops? You're a fugitive from justice, my friend. So are you, my friend. Now the hunter becomes the hunted, and the pursued now do the pursuing. When do we start, Brother Bloodhound? Any minute now. <laughs> Taxi is here. Thank you, Tamba.
Tamba. Let's go, Tamba. Come on. to the secret pass. Land of giant people only short distance. My people there now. Good. Feels better. Not as bad as I thought. They've rounded up every last one in the jungle. Are we too late? No, they won't start killing till they get them all inside the pass. How far are we from there? Let's see, we left our elephant taxi on a cliff top overlooking the entrance. About five or six miles inside the canyon, we hit giant people country. Think you can stop Zulu? Come on, we can try. <laughs> Jungle Jim himself. You know, Doc, he always turns up when you least expect him. In a way, I'm rather surprised to see you. Without a rope around his neck. Since he escaped from the commissioner, the troops can't be very far behind. You're right. Zulu, the soldiers are coming. Clear your men out of camp. Get them ready for the elephants. Agunza! Big G! Just come with the commissioner. You men out of sight? All ready for elephants. Good. Well, you were so concerned about your precious elephants. We're going to give you a box seat where you can watch them being slaughtered.
Nothing's going to stop us from getting those tusks. Doc, you and I'll stay with the natives. Zulu, follow the commissioner. Stay with him. Try and lead him away from the past. Hold these. Be careful. Don't scratch yourself with them. What are they? They're darts for a blowgun. Are they poisonous? I'll well, just put you to sleep for a while, that's all. What do you know? They got Mickey fins in the jungle, too. We're through with the cup. They pay Zulu and Ugamba tribe to kill elephants in secret pass for ivory. Join the party, Commissioner. Or do you need an engraved invitation? I've been mistaken. To put it mildly. Jim, I'm, I'm sorry about this. Give him back his gun. Thanks. You better get your troops and stop the natives. Jim, Zulu! Ah! We haven't much time. Right. What about us? We'll stop the elephants. How? The landslide with these boulders. We'll get the elephants to stampede back out of the pass. like a lot of rifles being shot.
Commissioner and his troops fighting the natives. Dr. Roberts, Denise. on itself and destroys itself. Jim, you saved me from making an awful mistake. We all make mistakes, Commissioner. But in the jungle, you're not always given a second chance. By the way, do you still want me to take you to the land of the giant people to study the missing links? No, thanks. As far as I'm concerned, the missing links can stay missing. I'll confine my studies to Tamba. Tamba? Tamba! <laughs> Put it down! <laughs> <laughs> Tamba! 